Hi, my name is Parag Paul and welcome back in my new video. In this video, we will going to discuss about the analysis of a photo frame which include the slab itself. Okay, so this is very important uh, video because after this video, you can simply determine how great pattern will create simultaneously, right? If you want to input data from the AutoCAD because we found that a lots of the architecture plan are not with respect to the you know like a rectangular pattern they have some curvatures also so we want to import that particular file in a tab so you need AutoCAD that particular video I'll tell you later but today in uh, video we will use a complicated not complicated a particular grid pattern which include the slab okay so first you go to the file click on a new model click on use built-in setting with use the metric system as 456 uh, 800 and 456 with respect to the Indian standard click OK now whenever you want to import data from the AutoCAD you need to click on blank but when you want to import the data from the you want to create a grid pattern you need to click on grid only pattern right so now it is very important to provide a proper grid lines without that you cannot further proceed so the number of grid line in x direction you have to provide the two grid line because we are going to consider only two columns okay now in y directions because in it tab the z direction define as on the place of the y direction so in this y direction at the place of the z direction remember this thing because i show you i told you earlier also in our last previous models i show you in 3d window the z direction is instead of the y direction and y direction is instead of the z direction x is as it is so here you need to provide a grid line on y direction also so i want to provide a two grid lines right so first one is at the same cartesian 0 comma 0 comma 0 point after that provide the dimensions between the two grid lines so here the distance between two grid lines in x direction i provide as a five meter and in y direction i am provide the distance between the two column as this seven meter let's guess let's make it split okay now after that i want to create only single story and the height as a three meter itself click on okay as you click on okay you will get a lots of data okay the three window as usual after that you need to go for the material assignment the slab structure assignment and the column and beam assignment here you can see in this pattern in 2d pattern we have created in y direction two grid which denote the grid number one and grid number two in x direction you can see the grid number a and grid number b the distance between this is five meter and distance between this is seven meter as we define and in 3d model you can see the grid pattern is denoted like this okay so let's get start click on a project plus icon click on a design preferences and select and let's check what all the project code are available or not yes all available click on minus button now structural wizards okay let's check how many stories we have we have base and story one and the grid line is g1 we have after that the properties now you can see you need to provide the material first okay so we will go in a material right click add new we will assign the as for the india the concrete indian and m20 grade of concrete click okay and here you need to use the as usual no need to change anything click on okay so material assign now after that you need to go to the frame section so as you go to the frame section right click add new property okay so you need to add okay because you can see in this frame structure here we have okay the concrete beam and concrete column okay so in frame structure click on right click add new beam property and click on this beam here for create a column section first so write on here column 300 by 300 okay and you select material m20 grade of concrete right after that just put a data over here 300 by 300 okay and after that just click on modify we will tell you we will discuss later okay you can see the dimension over here so what we provided click on okay so the column size is assigned again click on right click add new property select this one 
then go over here type beam 300 by 400 it's quite simple as it is so 400 okay and by 300 after that after that just click over here so you, go, you you can see the model is established click ok remember always the depth of the beam ok is always depend upon your uh, the length ok if the length increases definitely the depth will increases because at the bottom ok at the bottom we have the lots of tension ok and the top of the beam we always have the compression so CU at the top and TU at the bottom. Okay. Now, as discussed in our presentations too. So after that, you can assign the model over here. But yet we had to finish the slab section because we just assign the column and beam. Now you can see the slab section over here. We have this kind of slab section. Okay. So click on here, right click, add new property. So what I did, select the slab section, right click add new slab section and write a slab name as a slab okay after that select the material m20 grade of concrete okay after that the what is the thickness you want to provide in mm right over here i want to provide 120 grade of concrete okay and it asks you what kind of strap it is slab it is so it is a slab only not rib and nothing nothing not anything okay after that here the list uh, these things we will discuss afterward okay and these things also will be different afterward okay now after that click on okay so you need to check the let me check the property where i probably assign the material or not so you can see in beam i not assign the property of the material okay click on okay let's check for column also so okay like this yes we provided over here and in slab also we provided so slab Okay, let's check the modify the slab. Yes, we provided 120. Okay, now after that, uh, rest thing we not not going to provide. So first, first of all, you need to click over here in 3D model. I'll teach you how to assign in 3D model first, right? So create on the okay the all storage okay and click over here G1. As you click over here wait a minute okay one story right no issue so as you can see we need to click on here okay uh, right over here and after that select the beam first as you selected the beam you can see you need to in a like ground story g1 okay after that you can select properly so first of all click here select the beam okay the 300 or 400 and just bring the this mark over here instead of in 2d we will assign in 3d so okay so this is a what profit profitability we have in it app click 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 and click understand after that we will assign the column go over here select the column first okay so one two three and the four okay so you can see in 3d2 okay if you want to see in 3d model you can see in 3d also we have created this kind of model now the main step is assigning of the you know the wall uh, the, sorry the slab so click on here okay after that clear the slab one select that slab okay and yet you go over here okay you can see when you come at the bottom this line show and when you come to the top this dotted line reflect you like so whenever you're going to assign this dotted line need to be reflect and click over here so you can see the dotted line reflect and yes slab is created right so this kind of slab you also assigned okay like this you assign the slab okay so now after that what we have to do is we need to go for the load assignment so i'll remove this everything and we will see in a 2d model itself now after that you need to forget about the 2d model now let's focus on the 3d model so as we provided a slab you can see okay you can see this column will reflect like this okay understand so in whenever we are provide preparing the plan in autocad you need to focus 
on this size s if we, if the size of this column is different and this column is different yes you need to provide accordingly but you need a proper planning okay we will see afterward in our coming classes i hope this video make you more interesting okay so keep watching and try practicing after that just select okay just click escape if you already selected okay just select the beam first because we want to provide a load on a beam okay cancel just select all the beam okay like this go to the sign go to the frame load okay or you can uh, fra sorry frame load the distributed one okay and the load we are going to provide is a uh, 15 kilometer of the brickwork okay and click on a uh, at end distance okay 15 apply okay after that we will assign this lab load itself we will assign frame here you need to go for a shell load okay look first you need to select the slab like this just select on the slab okay no need to go anywhere else okay after that assign shell load and uniform draw the load i want to provide a 2 kN floor finish okay and click on apply okay so you can see this two what does it mean it applied this two reflect at the bottom okay now that's it we are going to not apply the more any kind of different load but yes you need to look forward for the fixed support so for that what you have to do is just select the support like this okay so one two three and the four but the column is selected so now what you have to do just make this story and the elevation mode okay and uh, from one side one story or base story we can see or we can make like this also apply okay so you can see the story like this okay select over here and selected here so you can see the both the uh, support we selected go to assign joint restaurant and the fixed one and apply okay so you can see the fixed load is applied okay now let's analyze it let's see what will happen click on analysis okay and yes i have to save this one on my desktop okay just new folder i will create a tab i'll give the name as a one save let's check the analysis okay so it will take time because it's really take a very different kind of situation so you can see what is the deflection occur you understand you can see the deflection over here you can see the deflection over here okay so the basic phenomena we need to discuss right the basic phenomena you can see as in the strength of material and in structural analysis if your support is hinge or pin the deflection will offer from the bottom like this okay like this at the bottom but when it is fixed it start from a certain distance understand now let's check the shear forces and all let's check the movement with value so you can see the movements okay you can see the movements like this okay after that let's check the bending movements after let's check the shear forces okay you can see the shear forces so maximum shear forces embedded in this uh, uh, the pattern and very minimum shear forces embedded in slab understand so this kind of analysis helps us to understand whether we need to provide the what different kind of the supports and what different kind of the you know the sizes of the column okay so in this video i stop here tomorrow i will provide you the next video in this you will get to know how to assign the two dimensional portrait frame with a slab okay so have a nice day bye bye